What's up guys, Coach Alex and Coach Sue here with Physique Development and today we are going to discuss the low cable bicep curl. This is one of our favorite movements to train the biceps through the lengthened position uh, and we've, we've had great success with clients utilizing it. Now, when we look at this, the first thing that we want uh, to speak on is that it needs to be on a functional trainer or a dual cable. You won't be able to necessarily perform this on a single cable, so we need something such as this. Then from there, we're going to set the cables at the lowest or at the bottom setting uh, and as we have already set up here. Now, Sue is going to grab the cables. She's going to take one to two steps forward. The things that we want to focus on as she takes her steps forward are the arm positioning as well as the uh, stability of her feet. So we want to make sure that the stagnation between her feet is fine. Uh, if she is to put her feet in the same position, so in line with one another, it allows for the balance to be iffy, so it's better to stagger them and allow for better balance. Now from here, we are going to allow for the shoulder to extend, but we do not want it to extend so much that it begins to roll forward, which is going to take a lot of the tension off of the bicep and just cause a lot of discomfort and misalignment. So we'll go ahead and have her in place. Now with this, we want the cable to be in alignment with the elbow joint as we do with all bicep movements. If you do not have the elbow in alignment with the cable, what will transpire is elbow pain over time. You may not feel it at the beginning, but it will come up over time. Now from here, we're going to maintain tension in the upper back. She is going to curl and try to drive that forearm into the bicep. One thing that we want to make sure is that this cable is not running into her forearm. As soon as that cable be becomes an issue and, be and runs into that forearm, we're losing tension on the bicep itself. Go ahead, come down. I'll have Sue go through two repetitions for you. Now, one common error that we do see with clients is that when they are curling the cable and they're starting to struggle, they will push those elbows forward and now this is this is taking the tension off of the bicep and, and shifting it to the front delts. So we want to avoid any movement in the upper arm or the elbow within this movement uh, to allow for the tension to maintain, be maintained on the bicep.